Hi, I bet you've heard at least once how some old man was complaining about increased prices at supermarket. Hmm. <laughs> and we completely share this sentiment. But why it happens? When prices rise on average in an economy, it's called inflation. In the recent past in developed economies, inflation has only been a few percent per year, but some decades ago double-digit inflation, even in developed economies, wasn't unusual. One of the reasons that inflation has come under control is that economists now have quite a good understanding of what causes it and how countries can go about reducing it. Although inflation, increasing prices, is the norm, some countries, such as Japan, have experienced prolonged deflation, that is, falling prices, which mean that people and firms often put off spending in order to wait for a lower price. This behavior puts more downward pressure on prices. In some cases inflation has become so extremely high that economists have a special name for it, hyperinflation. The most recent extreme case is Zimbabwe where, at the peak in mid-2008, prices doubled every day. Hmm. When inflation occurs, the domestic currency is losing value. The fact that a soft drink can used to cost 10 cents in the early 1960s and now costs $1, is a way of saying that $1 used to buy 10 cans but now only buys one. The dollar has lost value. Alternatively, you could say that in the early 1960s, you could get a dollar by giving up 10 soft drink cans while today, you only need to give up one. That is, the soft drink price of getting a $1 bill has fallen tenfold. Either way, inflation means the domestic currency is becoming less valuable. The good news is that there are really just two underlying causes of inflation. The first cause is the expectations mechanism. If everyone expects money to lose value, everyone will try to get rid of it quickly, and the easiest way to do this is to spend it. But this is just a game of hot potato. Ron buys something from Kate and gives her money. But Kate doesn't want to hold money either, so Kate buys something from Charlie. Now Charlie tries to get rid of the money by buying from Anne, and so on. Before long, all these purchases start to make prices rise, justifying everyone's initial fear. Second is that the monetary authorities print too much money. Imagine, you are ruling a country and need to pay your creditors. What is the most tempting solution? Just print it. Because you can. Wrong. Like anything else, when its supply becomes relatively abundant, money loses value. But what makes authorities take this step? Supply reduction. It can happen by plenty of reasons. Natural disasters. Poor harvest. Sanctions against your country. Monopolists actions. A weaker national currency. This can happen as a result of previous cause or because of a rapid growth of foreign currency. Export commodities become more expensive, level of prices goes up. Also Ron, Kate, Charlie, and Anne will probably decide to exchange their savings to more stable currency. The two causes are not unrelated. Kate, Charlie, Ron, and Anne may all expect inflation because they expect rapid money growth. Yet the two forces are logically distinct. Hyperinflations usually start with lots of money growth but are typically made worse by the expectations factor. Thank you for watching. This story can be an entertaining topic at the dinner table because everybody enjoys to listen people with a good story. Share, like, subscribe. You know what to do. Leave us a comment what other topics you would discuss at the dinner table.